I have to take the difference of the original track and the Smoten track. Hi, my name is Basant Raj Singh, senior compositor from Bharat. Today I have this footage and my task is to remove jitter from the movement and I have to make the played movement smooth. For that, first I will track the footage. So I am taking a tracker node and pressing Ctrl, Alt and left click to get the tracker and start tracking and now backward tracking so i have this tracking i am making a backdrop node so i am writing down as a original track and i'm copying this track and the one way is removing jitter from any footage if you go to the transform there is multiple options stabilize match move and there is remove jitter select that so as soon as you select the remove jitter, it's removing jitter and there is a jitter period. By default, it's 10. It means it's making average of 10 frames. So every 10 frames, it's making average of that tracking data. So if you view from here, yes, it's removing the jitter. It's a smooth end. If I increase jitter period 20, it will be more smooth end. But the problem with this method the all thing happens internally to the tracking node. We are not getting transform value of the jitter. So we have not much that control. Sometimes we need it. So I am just making one other backdrop and written this remove jitter. So this is remove jitter method. But what I prefer mostly where we have more control and, and also we get that transform data of the jitter. So again, I am copying this original track and if I go to the transform and if you press this curve node here and open the curve editor. So now I am getting the graph of my tracking data. So I am selecting all that whole graph, right click, edit and filter and I am making filter 20. As soon as you apply the filter, this path is smoothened. So now I have a smoothened track, a smoothened track. So track 1 is the original track, track 3 is the smoothened track. So getting that jitter, if we able to get the difference of both the track, the difference will be the jitter. So for that, I am making this 2 because I want to see the properties of tracker 1 and tracker 3 both. And also now I am taking a transform node. So now all three properties will be equal to me. So now go to this transform, translate and press edit expression. I have to take the difference of the original track and the smoothen track. So original track minus a smoothen track, original track, tracker one, write down the tracker one. The expression is the case sensitive. So your spelling should be correct. And also where it's capital, here it's a small, you have to pay the attention. So I am writing tracker one and in tracker one, there is knob called translate X. So tracker one dot translate dot X. So as soon as you write down this expression, it's giving the X value of this transform tracker one because I'm writing down the tracker one. If I don't write X, it's generic, still it's giving the result, but for better understanding, I'm writing. And now I have to minus the tracker three translate dot X. So what I'm doing, I'm this is original track tracker one. I'm taking tracker one translate X and my Minus tracker 3 translate x. As soon as you are writing down this expression, it's giving the difference value. And I'm copying this same expression, pasting in y, just changing x with y. So now it's minusing the y. So let's view the graph of this transform. If I go to and open the curve editor, see this is my graph. This is just the jitter. So in this way, we are getting the transform value of the jitter. So this transform is the jitter value. So if you have to add the jitter, just connect with transform. But our task is to remove the jitter. So I will invert this transform and now see the result. It's a smooth end. So, and this is live connected. So if you change the smoothen track value, it's automatically updated. So when you are happy with that, your transform value, I always prefer baked node. For baking the nodes, I will go to here, edit and generate and generate whatever the frame range. Okay. 
So as soon as you generated expression link will gone and the value is back. So now this is the independent transform node which contains your only jitter and if you have to add the jitter just add this transform but if you have to remove the jitter just add invert to the transform node. I hope it would be helpful. Please share your valuable feedback. Thank you.